Now that I've shown you how to clean up an image that is too red, I want to show you a typical type of bad photography image, which is indoor photography. Indoor photos tend to turn to yellow. So if I go to file and open in the same folder here, chapter eight, folder number six, an indoor shot that is way, way, way too yellow. Command J always. And here's a test. Okay, if I look at the contents of what's in the photograph, that will determine what kind of cleanup method I use. Okay, not one method is going to work on every photo. So glancing at this photo, it's an indoor shot. So I know there's a lot of yellow, but there is also an object with gray. So if I have those two characteristics, an image where the overall color is dominant, there's too much yellow, but there is also a neutral kind of gray value. I can clean this up instantly by going to image menu, auto color. There we go. That would not necessarily work if I had a photograph of a friend out by the Huntington Beach Pier near sunset because there would be no gray in that image. But in this case, it worked beautifully. Here's before and there's after just by choosing an automated feature, image and auto color. Once I've cleaned up a photo like this, I tend to punch up a little more contrast by going to image menu, adjustments, levels. You can see right here, we've got very few dark values in this photo. So I might wanna punch those up just a little bit, bring in some mid-tones there, a few more highlights, turn on an extra light in the room. And there we go, from before to after in no time. Just save this file as two yellow, last name, first name, two yellow. Really simple cleanups here in Photoshop and we'll move on.